U.S. President-elect Donald Trump has chosen Senator Marco Rubio as his top diplomat as his cabinet continues to take shape, while also seeing a major boost as the Republicans have taken both Congress and House. Yi Seung has more. U.S. President-elect Donald Trump is quickly making his cabinet picks and officially named Florida Senator Marco Rubio as his Secretary of State on Wednesday. Known for his hawkish stance on China and Iran, Trump called him a strong advocate for the U.S. He is also expected to have a hardline stance on North Korea. During a 2017 CBS News interview, Rubio said the U.S. must do all it can to make sure that North Korean leader Kim Jong-un doesn't acquire the nuclear capability that would allow him to strike the U.S. mainland. Meanwhile, Trump continues to make loyalty a key qualification for his picks. On Wednesday, he announced on True Social that he will nominate Republican Representative Matt Gates to serve as U.S. Attorney General. The president-elect said Gates distinguished himself in Congress through his focus on achieving desperately needed reform at the Department of Justice. However, Gates is currently under investigation by the House Ethics Committee for alleged sexual misconduct and illicit drug use. Trump also named a former Democrat turned Republican as the new director of national intelligence. Tulsi Gabbard, who served as a Democratic congresswoman from Hawaii from 2013 to 2021, will be advising the president on security matters after a Senate confirmation. Gabbard served in Iraq and was promoted to lieutenant colonel in the U.S. Army Reserve three years ago. The next four years for Trump is expected to be smoother than the first four years as the president-elect and the Republicans have achieved full control of the U.S. government. After achieving a majority in the Senate, the Republicans have also taken a majority in the House of Representatives. The trifecta, which was achieved at the start of Trump's first term in office, will give him a significant boost. It will pave the way for Trump to enact his policies on the economy, immigration and other key issues while giving Democrats less leverage to challenge his agenda. Meanwhile, John Thune will replace Mitch McConnell, the longest-serving Republican Party leader in Senate history. After winning the secret ballot on Wednesday, Thune will be the new Republican Senate leader and the majority leader in the upper chamber of the new Congress. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.